A report by the Nigerian Tribune newspaper indicates that big wings in the People's Democratic Party PDP, including former top military brass, are opposed to the fresh presidential bid of former Vice President Alaji Atiku Abubakar. Atiku 75 is seeking the PDP ticket for 2023 presidential poll after running as the candidate in the party in 2019. Regarded as among the main power brokers in the party since the inception of the PDP in 1998, the ex-military leaders are reportedly pushing for a paradigm shift in the contest for who becomes the standard bearer of the party. Aside from their lieutenants still deeply entrenched in the system, the former leaders also weighed in an awesome influence along with other power brokers in taking key decisions in the mayor opposition party. At a recent interaction with members of the strategy and inter-party affairs of the PDP at his hilltop residence in Mena, former military president Ibrahim Babagida said he and other retired military brass constituted the military wing of the PDP. The former military president was also quoted to have said the next president should not be over 70 years, just as former president Obasanjo advocated a president with deep knowledge about the country in the next dispensation. A former head of state, General Abdusalami Abubakar, had also advocated a young and vibrant president to steer the ship of the state in the next dispensation. Leaders from the Southeast and South-South have openly criticized Atiku's move, urging him to reconsider his aspiration for the sake of equity and fairness. Those opposed to his ambition claimed he left the party in the cold after it lost the 2019 poll to the All Progressive Congress APC. Others believe the ruling party could reopen some issues that culminated in Atiku's running battle with some agencies of government in the build-up to the last general election. The aspirations of the PDP candidate in the 2019 presidential contest has also reportedly split the ranks of the PDP governors, elders in the board of trustees, BOT, and some top-notch members of the party across the geopolitical zones, especially in the southern axis of the country. Consequently, the opposition has reportedly united some governors, PDP, and youthful elements within the party in the attempt to checkmate the former vice president. Another plank of those opposed to Atiku is the quest for a younger age bracket for the next president of the country. Similarly, some have kicked against any plot to frustrate power shift from the north to the south in 2023, since incumbent President Mohamed Buhari is from the northern Nigeria. However, his supporters have moved to counter those forces opposed to Atiku's aspiration claiming that he is the only one among the PDP stalwarts that have signified interest in the ticket of the party that can give the APC a good fight at the poll. According to them, he has the resources and logistics to match the ruling party, as well as structures across the zones, to rally support for PDP to win the presidency in 2023. Meanwhile, Bauchi State Governor Bala Mohamed has said he told Atiku to allow him to contest the presidency in 2023 because the former vice president is old and fatigued. He said this in his speech while receiving the report of a contact and consultation committee which he established for his presidential ambition which was held on Friday, January 28 at Government House, Bauchi. The committee headed by Senator Adamu Gumba which was inaugurated in August 2021, visited 16 northern states where it interacted with various stakeholders in those states on behalf of Governor Mohammed. In a related development, the PDP has been warned against fielding a presidential candidate from northern Nigeria in 2023. A political advocacy group, Reset Nigeria, made a call in a statement. The group said the PDP risks mass exodus of members and extinction if it fails to fill the presidential candidate from southern Nigeria in line with the idea of rotational presidency between the north and the south. 2023 plot against Atiku thickens in PDP as major stakeholders reject 
the former vice president. Atiku Abubakar is one and politician that has contested in virtually every election in the last uh, couple of years and he's lost out. He's contested in every election. And right now what is even going on is that um, uh, it's not even the APC or other party members, uh, uh, people from other parties who are speaking against him. We know that uh, people from other parties are speaking against him. Nigerians in general are saying that we don't want recycled politicians. But what is interesting right now is that it's even PDP stakeholders who are speaking, who are stating um, all of this. You know, a couple of days ago, it was Samuel Autumn of Benue State who told uh, Atiku that he should not just try anything. That Atiku abandoned the party. If we recall, after the 2019 general election, when PDP lost out again, after they lost out in 2015, when they lost out again, Atiku left the country. And ever since, he's been in Dubai. It was only last year and that he returned back and when he was asked that uh and he was attacked yes he was attacked and criticized for abandoning the party he gave excuses that um, he did not abandon the party he actually went to to study and he's done with his study that's why he's back now interesting and you know it was at that time nigerians started telling him that Ati could remain in dubai when it's time for votes when it's time for the election the people in dubai will vote for you you know, immediately <laughs> he called himself to order and he returned back. But he told Nigerians that uh, he was done with his uh, studies. We don't know if that was coincidental or it was as a result of what the way Nigerians started lamenting. Well, what is going on right now is that um, it's even um, stakeholders within the party that are kicking against um, his move. It's not known yet if um, all of this will make Atiku pull back or if he will um, go and reinforce and come back, you know. The likes of a uh, former uh, head of state, Abdul Salami, and also Ibrahim Bambagida, they've mentioned that um, what the country needs, that's the way they've put it, they've just told that tickle to his face that you are not the kind of candidate that the country needs in these trying times that we are. The country is in a bad shape, really, really bad shape. And they are saying to him, Atiku is 75. Babagida has mentioned that um, the age thing is against Atiku Abubakar. And they are all of the same uh, political family. They are from the same party. They've, different words have been coming out um, regarding his age. And um, also, you know, the rotational um, formula that has been on. President Mohamed Buhari will be completing his turn and is from the north. And the right thing to do is that uh, the presidency should shift to another region. Southern governors placed a demand last year that presidency must come to the south. But we know the north, they are fighting tooth and nail, doing all they can to ensure that they retain power. They just want to retain power by all means, by any means possible. For Atiku Abubakar, we don't know what um, his, uh, 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 his fate will be, but the plot is thickening. Uh, will he pull back? We'll see how all of this plays out. But leave us your take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So I come your way again with more updates. Bye.